Hello and good morning. Welcome to another lovely day in the Scottish borders. Not quite as lovely as uh, it has been in most of the previous videos, which I still think is a bit of a a bit of an anomaly. It's actually looking very, very like it might rain, um, and I am not appropriately dressed for it. So hopefully it doesn't happen in the next 10 to 15 minutes. A uh, oh, little spot of rain just landed on my arm. Well, I did say, didn't I? I did say at some point I was going to end up doing one of these in the rain, so maybe today is going to be the day. Um, so, what I wanted to talk about, essentially, as I say generally what I talk about in this um, weekly video is uh, inspired by stuff that's happened that week. Uh, what's been on my mind, the people I've come across. Uh, and there was, a, there was a couple of things that came up, but I decided to focus on this one thing, which was uh, the Law of Attraction, okay? And the reason this came up was because I had uh, posted a series of um, a little mini posts on, uh, the, on, on the social media platforms, which you may or may not have seen if you're one of the... A uh, handful of subscribers to this channel and you watch these slightly longer videos you might have seen the um, stuff I was posting about stoic philosophy so I'm not a you know I'm not a kind of diehard stoic by any stretch of the imagination but um, a lot of the lessons and the exercises from stoicism really resonated with me and I, I kind of came across it uh, just through stuff I was reading at the time so I had read um, one of Ross Edgley's books and he refers to stoicism quite a lot in the lessons from that just in terms of mental management, day-to-day -day mental management, which is really what I'm interested in uh, from a coaching point of view as well. Um, how you approach life on a daily basis and how do you manage your thinking and that's what stoicism is really about. Um, and also then Darren Brown's book, Happy which is, uh, you know, just looks at what happiness is and how you can be happy. And that also leans upon a lot of the lessons from Stoicism, including the, uh, there's a big section in Darren Brown's book about death and how, as, uh, as a culture, we don't really approach death in the right way. We don't like to talk about it. We don't like to prepare for it. And Stoicism um, also relies fairly heavily on that as well. That's one of the key... Uh, key lessons in Stoicism is really to uh, approach life um, full in the knowledge that one day you're going to die and you don't know when that's going to be. So that was kind of how that came about. And in one of the um, posts that I did this week, there was a, uh, there was a chap had had commented and said it was really, really good. I'm always open to be challenged on things, but there was one of the, the lessons, I forget the... Uh, the actual proper name of it, but it was about, oh, I remember what it was called, it was Premeditorio Malorum, which was essentially preparing yourself mentally for any challenges or bad things that might happen. And uh, the, the chap that had commented made the very good point of, um, I don't really like to do that because I feel like that almost manifests something negative to happen. So we had a bit of an interesting online chat about it and uh, that was kind of where the law of attraction came up because he mentioned about manifesting the right things to happen. So I don't know if anyone's come across the law of attraction but have a little look at it just now. So essentially uh, people believe in this to, to different extents but um, if you wh whatever you think is essentially what's going to happen. So what you think and what you believe is that you're going to bring it to be in the universe. And people believe it to different extents. Some people just believe that all they need to do to achieve things is to believe that it's going to happen. Um, and there's some real, you know, there's been a, a lot of money made out of books on the topic about how you how you use it uh, best. And I, I remember looking at this at the time uh, when in a Facebook group I think I was in, I remember being a bit sceptical, right, so literally all you need to do is just uh, really think hard about this thing that you want to happen and it's going to happen. And I don't know if that makes an awful lot of logical sense uh, to me as a kind of scientific, logical brained person. Um, but actually, I think just through experience, I, I think that the way the way the law of attraction actually works is that you're 
bringing forth uh, in your brain unconsciously almost so you you know say you want something to happen i think it has to be fairly realistic so you can't just manifest a million pounds out of nowhere but you know you probably could uh, if you were willing to put the effort in make that happen or at least start working towards it if you really wanted to you know if you want i want to make a million pounds so then you sit down and you go right my vision in the world is that i want to make a million pounds and then you brainstorm some different ways that you might do it and you know you look at the practicalities of it and you get to work on that so i, I think that's how manifesting actually works i think if you sit down and go i really want a million pounds and do nothing about it then the chances of uh, of that actually coming true are slim. So you know, I I, th- I think you know, we manifest things unconsciously. So we decide that that something is what we want, and we start working towards it consciously or unconsciously. But we we still have to put in some kind of effort towards it, or we're still unconsciously taking little steps, little trips in the right direction uh, towards it. It doesn't just happen magically. So I think some people believe that the law of attraction is magical. I think the law of attraction is essentially uh, psychology. The other thing we talked about rather than manifesting as in making something appear there's almost the the opposite of that so I, I just refer to it as reverse manifesting I don't know if it's been described at all in any of the textbooks or literature at all around the law of attraction but um, I, I had kind of talked about defending the position from the, the Stoics but uh, the, the, this whole thing of anticipating any challenges that might come up and as with all these things, there's a really, really careful balance to be struck because you can, if you're of a more anxious disposition, you might actually make yourself worry about things by just sitting and thinking about all the bad things that might happen. So one of the um, prompts that I use when I'm doing journaling in the morning is what challenges might you face today? And it is literally just casting my mind ahead, right, what am I doing today? What little wrinkles might get in the way? that might uh, disrupt the flow of my day Um, and it just gives you a little window of opportunity so I don't think about it for long I just sit and I think right what have I got on today am I at work am I at home what am I doing what might be challenging and that's literally it you know I don't um, I don't obsess about it and I don't get anxious about it and I think that you know potentially by taking a few seconds to cast your mind ahead to the day ahead that actually you could potentially reverse manifest those things. So by anticipating a wrinkle in your day, you actually might be able to smooth it out before it even happens. And I guess it's really, really difficult when you're talking about the absence of something. Uh, you know, how do you, how do you prove the absence of something, if that makes sense? So how can I prove that by sitting and thinking for a few seconds what challenges I might face and just gently mentally preparing myself for it how do I prove that by sitting and thinking about it that I can stop it happening um so that I think that I think he found that quite interesting the chat that posted about not liking to get too worried about you know manifesting negative things I suppose by thinking about it and I don't think that's really how it works but I think it's a very individual thing I think You need to try things and find what works for you. Uh, I find that that approach has been working for me. I've been uh, journaling fairly consistently in the morning, just for a few minutes each day, listening to a little bit of Ryan Holiday's Daily Stoic, uh, just for, you know, 10 minutes or so, just getting a bit of a refresher on some of the Stoic lessons and listening to what he has to say. So that's just some thoughts on the law of attraction, a little bit about Stoicism. And uh, I don't know whether you can see this in the video, but the, the rain has started, so... Um, I'll consider that as uh, I've kept my promise, but there will probably be worse weather to come uh, in the Scottish borders. <laughs> so I'll, I'll wrap the video up there. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, um, like the video, make sure you've subscribed to the channel and uh, check out what I'm posting on, uh, uh, on my social media channels and uh, hopefully catch up with you soon.